So a lot of people have been asking me to review Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Shut up, I'm doing it anyway. The story begins with the Kongs celebrating DK's birthday. Unfortunately, they're attacked by a fleet of Vikings who blow them clean off their island using a magical horn, which then completely freezes it over with ice and snow. Looks like someone's watched Frozen one too many times. The Kongs land on a far-off island and begin to make their way back home to reclaim it from the Vikings and make Elsa bring back summer. This game is a side-scrolling platformer. You'll make your way through several differently themed islands on your way back to the frozen tundra that is DK Isle. And let me just say, enjoy the ride, because this game is fun! It has some of the most creative and downright hectic levels I've seen in any platformer, period. But none of these levels would be nearly as fun if you just played as DK the whole time, so you'll get Diddy, Cranky, and Dixie Kong to help you out along the way using their own special abilities. Diddy can use his rocket barrels to let you hover through the air for a short time, Dixie can twirl our ponytail around, allowing for a double jump, and Cranky uses his cane to perform the deadly, overpowered pogo stick of death, which can be used to bounce across spiky surfaces and defeat enemies with helmets. I really liked how certain obstacles and bosses in the game were better tackled using a specific partner. This made the game have a sense of strategy to it, which I wasn't expecting you to see in a platformer. You can rush through the levels as fast as you can if you want, but if you take the time to explore and look for small details in the scenery, you'll be able to find tons of hidden secrets, such as alternate endings to the levels, which lead to even more levels, or the oh-so-elusive puzzle pieces. No, not those puzzle pieces. These puzzle pieces. If you collect all of them within a single level, you'll unlock art from the game. Though I only managed to find them all on a few levels, so I won't be seeing a whole lot of this so-called art. Sounds like it'd be neat, though. The graphics in this game are total eye candy. Seriously, I get this warm, fuzzy feeling inside whenever I see them. I liked the graphics so much, in fact, it was almost kind of... creepy, actually. But my bizarre obsession aside, you may just find yourself drooling over the visuals in certain areas, so bring a towel with you. The bosses in this game, with the exception of one, are top-notch. They did what any boss worth its salt should do. Test your skills. And just like I mentioned earlier, it may prove beneficial to be rather choosy when it comes to deciding which of the Kongs to bring with you into battle, as their specific abilities can mean the difference between defeat and victory. I found that this game had just the right amount of challenge. And to be honest, it can be pretty hard sometimes. That being said, it was never unfair, though some may debate that about the later levels in the game. Even so, it was well-balanced and never threw anything at me that I considered to be overpowered. But hey, who wants to play alone all the time? If you have a friend, you can have them join you by playing as one of the other Kongs. And let me just say, the multiplayer is... What? Is that so? I have just been informed that I don't have any friends, so unfortunately I can't show you any footage of the multiplayer feature. Besides the fact that this game is downright fun to begin with, you can always come back to explore alternative routes through the map, or collect all the Kong letters and puzzle pieces in each level. Or try out the multiplayer, if you have friends. And here I am at the end of this review, and I honestly couldn't find any major issues with this game. But if I had to name one nitpick, it's that some of the normal bosses, despite being awesome and fun, became kind of repetitive due to the fact that they had a little too much HP. But with that minor flaw out of the way, I give Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze a 9.5 out of 10.